we are we are in the thick of it now. We're in the thick of it. It's Christmas. Of what? Oh yeah, right. Yeah. It yeah, is yeah. basically. I went to a show last That's night. That's crazy. Thanksgiving's over. Yeah, hmm. I went to a show yesterday, and while driving there, there was a house that was, and this is like Van Nuys, so it wasn't like a huge house. This is this house, probably like a two three bedroom joint, but it was you know pretty small. I'm talking about from the back of the house to the front of the house, all lights. Yeah, they could not wait. I'm talking about probably at 12 a.m. Yeah. on December 1st. They, they was just like, <laughs> <laughs> it was already done. <laughs> no, man, you know I've been waiting. Man. <laughs> I'm talking about the whole house, the trees in the front of the house. They had like the little shimmy ones that hang down on the trees. I mean, they went full body in. Mm -hmm. They put their whole body into it. I'm I waiting. can appreciate that. I'm I've been waiting too. Really? You going oh, all man. out? Probably not all out, but I'm gonna have. I'm definitely decorating. Oh yeah, Do you oh, decorate yeah, like yeah. the outside of the house and the inside, or rarely the outside. Mm -hmm. um, always the inside. That's that's always a rule. Um, when we do the outside, we might do like some bushes or some trees. There's a really interesting one. It's very lazy, but it's cool. They'll just like set up um, like a like a laser show. Yeah, oh, like yeah. It'll, it'll, it it'll, it'll, yeah. they'll just shoot it on the house and, it and it'll like it, yeah. rotate and stuff like that. I might do something like that, but um, I don't know. I think people might. People might steal it. There's, it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's, that's, that's a, a yeah. big, like, L.A. is pretty ridiculous right now. Right now, L.A. is so bad that, like, I'm like, I got to go to San Bernardino or, I don't know, somewhere so I can actually get my uh, conceal and carry uh, license because it is bad out here. It's to the point where mm -hmm. I was so and I was like, yo, don't go to the city without me. Yeah. And it doesn't even matter really at the city because that one that that the robbery that happened in the the hot wing place, that was in Sherman Oaks. The girl who was with her baby? No, 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 no. Not that one, because I think that one was in the valley too. But I'm talking about when they were actually inside the restaurant, sitting down eating, oh, and the guy right. walked up when he had the gun like right here. Yep. Bro, I thought they were outside on the patio initially. They were inside That's the crazy. restaurant crazy. eating. That's insane. I seen one the other day. It was a guy like he was like he was locking up his store, a storefront. He's about to walk to his Bentley truck, and this lady was walking up the street. He walked behind her, sort of walked to his vehicle. His car bags up. The two passenger doors hop out. I mean, open up. The guys hop out, and they run up on the dude and shove him around and take his money and wallet, probably phone and all that. It's just like, what is going on? I don't know. And the then the one with the lady. The, the lady was um, walking her kid. The kid's in, in the a stroller. stroller. Yep. Yo, it does not That's feel like Halloween. I mean, uh, <laughs> it actually does feel like Halloween, like rob a treat. Uh, it does not feel like Christmas right now. That's so, there's some like post pandemic thing happening, like mm -hmm. we getting people that, for all but they the holidays. Gifts. Do that. This happens around the holidays a lot because a lot of people are stressed, depressed, don't have money. I don't oh. feel like. I, I mean, that is probably true. Huh. For some people, but I really feel like it's just people just being horrible people, bro. That yeah, too. it doesn't it like just unlock statistic statistically. Yeah, if you look at it. That happens. Right. Also, after Christmas, like if you yeah. like, don't put any like big TVs or oh, PlayStation yeah, yeah, yeah. Five boxes in your in the oh, trash yeah, they can. Definitely, but, they definitely breaking in the house. But like home invasions, the um, oh my the, god, the, the guy, the like high level Clarence, music executive, uh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. That his wife got shot, murdered man. in a home invasion. Like at least all these other stories. It's, as far as we know, just, no one was hurt. Yeah, it was just like money and stuff like that. But I'm 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 with you. Luckily, I I got on the the gun train like a little bit before this craziness happened. Mm -hmm. So I have four already. Um, and I'm <laughs> I can't you imagine. keep them all on. You? Listen, I can't imagine Pat with a gun. I oh know I'm not God. the only one it's that so sees good. Pat with like like a badass archery cabinet. Like I'm talking about of oh, this bow. Oh, this bow is fun. <laughs> the Highlands in Japan is made with the, the strongest, Highlands. the strongest bamboo. I had to the camp Highlands. out for four days. Honestly, though, if you if you pull out a bone arrow, I will give you your money. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, right, right, right. Or a sword. It's just or like you, okay, you know how to use yeah. it. Listen, I'm impressive. I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Pat has nunchucks, a bow and arrow. Uh, he probably has like the little switchblade joint, but he doesn't. He doesn't know how to use it all the way yet. But I he has. One. I just learned those butterfly knife. Yeah, butterfly yeah. knife. Um, and I feel <laughs> like he has a a big bow, like the big stick, like oh, Donatello. Like, so he's like the one ninja show has all the weapons, <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't. <laughs> doesn't do any of them great. Though. I want to learn how to use this, the, the stick. But no, I, it, it, stuff got just, just way too crazy. So I am working towards my concealed. Right now I have a Beretta PX Storm. No, P4 Storm. Uh, Let me look this up. Beretta P4 Storm. Uh, PX4 Storm. Okay, hold on. Um, PX4 
four storm. Uh huh. It's a big, big handgun. Like okay, that. Clint Eastwood peacemaker. Like that. Oh, the Beretta, a Forbes. Okay, um, okay. And then uh, I I just recently got a shield. Uh, what is it? A P nine shield. It's like a smaller conceal. Okay, but it she... shoots uh, shoots nine millimeter. I thought you were saying you actually bought a shield. Yeah, like an actual like, shield. Like like Link. <laughs> <laughs> I and like, I got a shield. And we're <laughs> right back. <laughs> and I got a shield. <laughs> Is the shield bulletproof? Though? I That's thought he really had. Yeah, that, was... <laughs> that was like, what? <laughs> Gun in a shield. What like... are you? <laughs> I would just be like, you riot police? You swat ass motherfucker. Hey, that'd be, that'd be tight to have a bulletproof shield, though. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, this is nice. This fits right in the boot. You put this in your Uggs, you'd be good to go. <laughs> Hey, that'd be crazy. Look, I was like, I don't have anything, I promise you. <laughs> Who you want? <laughs> Get out of my face. Assume the position. Face ass. <laughs> Uh, and I got a 12 gauge shotgun that's huge. I'm scared to shoot it though, but I oh, have man. to. I have yeah, to you gotta be kept. I gotta it, learn. Is it that. a newer one or? It's one of those newer ones, like with oh, the, the plastic. The pump? The, yeah. the, the pump, the double pump? It has a pump on it. It's not one of the wood ones. Like, those are the ones I'm. Right, 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 right. Um, these are like one of those newer, like, plastic ones. Is it like this one right here? It's called the Karina. It's like a 12 gauge. Was, Karina. Was, is that C A R I N A? C A R I N A, I think. Let's see. So it's like this one? No, those look old. I don't know. All right. If, All yeah, right. it's made by that company though. All right. Okay. 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 Um, just type it's in that one. There oh, is this right here? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the thing with those, like, I got this video of a fan shooting um this uh <laughs> this automatic shotgun, and it has like the double. It's got the the double grip pump right there. And she was like, I don't want to shoot it. I don't want to shoot it. I was like, ah, oh, you ain't going to shoot it. She was like, I want to shoot it. So she goes up. My homeboy is right there. He's like, all right, now, like, plant your feet and put it right here so your shoulder could grab the recoil. Yeah. So she did it. Bah! She was like, I said, I didn't want to shoot it. I mean, it threw It'll her dislocate whole your arm. Oh, shoulder right, out. Yeah. Oh, it, it, she, her shoulder went out? Mm -hmm. The ro recoil could yeah. dislocate your arm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, she, yeah. It's like right. It's supposed to be like yeah, right, like, yeah. right here. Yeah. Right here, yeah. Man, I was dying. <laughs> Did she hit the target though? She hit the target, and okay. it didn't. The the, uh, the the bullet didn't go up. The buckshots didn't go all over the place. Nice. But you, it, it shook her whole body, and I was like, okay. Those are a lot to get used yeah, to. Yeah, man, absolutely. That shield though, I thought you really <laughs> had a shield. Nah, man. I gotta, 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 gotta start. And the, my thing is, I gotta learn how to use it. So I'm going to the range a couple times a week. Absolutely, too, as you should. You don't want to get scared of it. Go to the range. Here's the thing about going to the gun range. Make sure you got, like, the earplug. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> if movies put gunshots as loud as they really Jesus are. Jesus Christ. It would so sound like loud. you're on the set, set of, a, of, of a, a Pirates of the Caribbean. It's like, so it is so loud. Like, I can't do it without. I don't know how people go in there without, like, their... I go with the, the goggle joints, um, mm -hmm. the M up joints right there, and the earplugs because right. it's double up. Yeah, dude, it's so to. loud, man. And I, I, I do it safely because you know, I, you know, I want to take my Raycons in there. I want to, mm -hmm. I want to put my Raycons in there and listen to my music, but that's not safe. Okay, so I wait till I get back home, right? And everybody's talking about how much fun they had, and I just go ahead and throw my Raycons on because that's what I like to do. It doesn't matter if I'm around people or if I'm at home by myself or if I'm at the gym or I'm doing a little run or running some errands. By now, guys, y'all should already have three, four, five pair of these Raycon wireless earbuds, okay? They make the perfect gifts for neighbors, cousins, the cousin's dog. Uh, it's another gift for you. It doesn't matter. But I love my Raycons. Um, the very first one I got, my daughter took them, okay? And she lost it, so I had to buy her another one when I bought me another one. And then Farron got into them, so she took a pair, so I had to buy yet another pair. But it doesn't matter because these are an amazing product that work exactly how they're supposed to. Um, you got the pure mode now. It's, it's perfect for podcast listening, blues, instrumental, all of those type of things. They got a balance mode, uh, which is also good for podcast listening, uh, rock, heavy rock metal. And then they got the bass mode, which you know is good for EDM, hip-hop, reggae. Raycons are available in five stylish colors, so you can pick your perfect one for everyone on your list. And they have free shipping and returns. Gifting has never been easier. And with Raycons, man, they give you amazing audio quality wherever you go. 
Um, and they are premium sounding audio earbuds, and they start at about half the price at other premium audio brands. So you really, really, really get your money's worth. So I want you guys to go right now, okay? This is an easy gift. Easy gift for yourself, easy gift for somebody on your list. This is something you don't have to put a whole lot of thought into because everybody likes good music and you want to hear that music well. So right now, go to buyraycon.com slash D-I-Y-S. Use the holiday code HOLIDAY, H-O-L-I-D-A-Y, to get 15% off your entire Raycon order. Again, go to buyraycon.com, use the um, slash D-I-Y-S, and use the holiday code HOLIDAY to get 15% off your entire Raycon. Raycon order one more time by Raycon.com slash DIYS and use the promo code holiday and get 15% off your entire order. Yes, sir. Um, continuing down the, the, the craziness, mm-hmm. craziness. We, we talked about self-defense, self-defense on the outside, you know, having the, having the strap for robberies and stuff, but you should, um, you may, I want to just PSA to protect yourself in, more ways than one, because I got roofied again. Again? No. When? The other night. The night? The night. I got roofed. This is like the third time, I think. You got to stop Who are you hanging around with? He keep keep walking outside wearing these thin-ass pants showing his dick print, and somebody's like, I'm going to get him. That's not true. I'm going to get his last. Someone tried to tickle my pickle. <laughs> now, wait, wait. I, I was with you. What happened? Dude? I don't know. I, I don't remember that entire night, and I could not move the next day. Really? Damn. Yes. You Shit. have like, no idea who could have done it or what drink it was? Or, well, yeah. I know. I had three drinks on my card, mm-hmm. which ain't enough. <laughs> that ain't enough to to put you like that, right? And um, yeah, I I I I was I looked at my phone. It was like non coherent, and and I, I got I I escaped when I started feeling weird. I guess, but I don't remember a thing. Wow. Were you at home when you realized it, or were you at someone else's place? When no, you I was at home. I woke I woke up, but I was just like, "What the hell? Like, mm-hmm. there's no way. What? I'm 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 just back. Yeah, yeah. You and disappear. Then, yeah, and and um. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, want, I don't want, I want to, you know, go too deep into it. Yeah, but I'm fine. Nothing we'll happens. talk because I this I'm finding this out with you with you guys. I right. thought you, you know. But um, people who were there said that they they saw me with people that I wasn't with the entire night. So hmm. I'm 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 assuming that you know something something slipped into my my drink. Oh yeah, and we then, definitely um, gonna talk then. And then I dipped. Um, but um, yeah, just, I'm glad just you made to, it home. Yeah, yeah. but I, but that was just horrifying because it was like, first of all, how did I drive like that? You mm-hmm. know, no, you... and 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 I know that I didn't drink enough to 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 be to warrant that a, type of feeling to black out like that, or to be you know be as 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 sick and um, incoherent as I was the entire next day. Oh yeah, um, that's crazy. Yeah, I, I I called my called my dad. He was like, yep. They got your ass. Be careful. <laughs> That's what pops at? <laughs> that casually? So, ah, nigga, they got you again? <laughs> oh, my boy, you, you got to take a sippy gotta, cup with you. It's just got to be, you guys got to be, just please watch out out there. Do you normally sit your drink down, though? Um, No, well, I guess so. I don't, I don't, I'm never the type to just walk away from it. Right, 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 right. But... And I'm not even saying that the the people I was with did that, you know. Mm-hmm. It's it's it could be just the quickest thing, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And it's did it's you also pick up like, all the drinks that you ordered? Like, do you remember getting handing them ha- the bartender handing them to you or whatever? See, that's the thing. It was either uh, something that was bought for me. See, that's that's when it happens. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know enough. Um, yeah. But I just know that I don't remember, and it was. We don't talk because somebody like somebody was like, "Yo, let me get you a drink." And I was like, "No, nah, I'm good. You know, I can get my drinks for free." He's like, "Come on, man, let me get you a drink." And I was like, "I said I'm good." Oh, yeah, yeah, shit like that. Yeah, and I, I drink for free. That's I, I yeah. put the night on. You know, I was like, it's, <laughs> it's, "It's okay, I'm all right." But they were so aggressive, and I didn't really pay no attention. To it. I was like, "I said I'm all right, right?" But now I'm thinking about it, I was like. 
with that person? No, but then again, you never know. Yeah, you don't know. You never know. You never know. But so. we're very the, the night that it, that that uh, Pat is referring to, like we're very cautious, like about making sure somebody walks women to the cars. Everybody, right. every woman that leaves our place gets walked to the car by one or two one or two uh, people every time they come and every right. time they leave. Uh, we're very cautious and conscientious of that. Um, but yeah, man, it was a it was a wild night. Like uh, some of the people that came to check out the night. Mm-hmm. One of those people passed out there, and I was on the way home. Me and Fran had to turn around and go get this person. Oh, wow. And we had to take them back to our house and hold their head in the trash can and then nurse Oof. them back to health. And I mean, but this person, wow. I know why they did that. Yeah, they were just, yeah, they much. were pounding them. So, oh, oof. Yeah, so I was just like, huh. Okay, well, this has never happened. Just taking a stranger back to the house. And we left a note like, hey, you're safe. Your friends left you. Uh, you went to here and fair. Here's water. Trash can's right by your head. The bathroom straight ahead to your left. Um, and you know, they were straight the next morning. But yeah, man, it was I was like, I, I wow. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, shit. Some could could have slipped them something too. It nah, could have been nah, a serial I, slipper. Trust me, the way this person was pounding them though. Cause I had four shots with this person by myself. Oof, oh, and then they, and and they, were, they were doing it with the shot and the beer. Mm. And so by the fourth one, I was like, all right, cool. They were like, come on, here's two more, two more. Hey, no, <laughs> it's 11.45. I want to drink. This goes drinks. to one. <laughs> I I need to be coherent. <laughs> I'm, I'm hosting, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I slowed down and uh, just made my rounds, and I started drinking water at that point. But uh, yeah, that when I went back and saw them sitting on the curb, I was like, that makes sense. Ah. Yeah, that makes sense, so. You know, you just got to be careful, man. It's, it's, it's the also holidays, mixing, but it's still mixing the wrong ones. Yeah, it's, it's you know, it's the holidays, but still, you know, be, use some decor. You know, be decor. safe out there because everybody doesn't do what we do. Like we want to make sure people get out and get home safely so they can come back out and party with us. But right. some people would definitely take advantage of that situation. So you know, just 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 be careful. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this Please. is the time where, like we talked about earlier, a lot of people are. Uh, Feeling some type of way that might be sad because they don't have the money or something like that, or you know they might just be in a bad mood or whatever the case may be. So you put as much care into going out, getting back home, and that safety as possible because mm-hmm. we all we want all of y'all here the next year to be with us and celebrate all of our wins and your wins and all of that. So, uh, but you can't do that if you're not in your right mind or you're not in your not right energy. So right now, I want to encourage anybody that's been feeling like. You've lost your smile, or you know you've had a hard time achieving those goals, or anything like that. This is a perfect chance for you to look into better help. Okay, this po- this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and uh, BetterHelp will help assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist in under forty eight hours. Now, I have to be very clear about this. This is not a crisis line. This isn't a self help line. This is professional therapy done securely. Online, the holidays is that time, man, when people really just get down. Whether it's finances, whether it's you know missing their loved ones, uh, maybe you didn't get the promotion that you thought, or you got overlooked for another position or something like that. Trust me, you are not alone in those feelings. You are not alone in the disparity and the sadness. We all deal with grief differently, but BetterHelp is to here to try to help you. There's a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in many areas. The service is available for clients worldwide, so no matter where you're at, whatever time, whatever time zone, whatever region, you can log into your account anytime and send a message to your therapist, and you'll get a timely and thoughtful response. Plus, you can schedule weekly phone and video sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches. That means they want you to find somebody that you feel comfortable with. They want you to find somebody that you don't have a problem opening up with. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm with a new therapist right now. And the first couple times, you know, I was, I was feeling her out. I, I didn't even just bare my soul in front of you. Girl, I'm talking about making the sex with my wife. You know, <laughs> that's personal. So, First couple of times, it took a minute for me to feel comfortable opening it up, and now I'm with somebody that I, I really trust, and and we've built that that bond, and now I can really get to the root of these problems. So, BetterHelp is more affordable than traditional offline therapy, and financial aid is available. So, don't sit back and be like, "Oh, therapy is too expensive." All of that. Listen, if the holidays, if you ain't gonna treat nobody else, treat yourself, okay? And like they said, 
Financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. We, go to the website. Read the testimonials. They post them daily. That's at betterhelp.com slash reviews. And you can see what people are talking about. See what they're saying. And see if you might connect with something that someone is saying on there. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are now recruiting additional therapy therapists Excuse me, in all 50 states. Now, we're going to hit you with this 10% special Offer right now, you get 10% off your first month if you go to betterhelp.com slash DIYS. Again, that's betterhelp.com slash DIYS. Get 10% off your first month. Listen, it, it, it's going to cost you very little to invest in yourself. And your, your, your health and your wealth uh, go hand in hand. Okay, you cannot continue to become successful, be successful, be rich, be famous, or anything if you're not in good health. Then that's mental and physical. So take advantage of this right now. 10% off your first month. We can go to betterhelp.com slash DIYS. Yes, sir. Shout out to BetterHelp. Um, on, the, on the train of it's crazy out there. I didn't know it, it would take this long, but Jesse Smollett. Oh, Smollett. man. And what is he up to? He's uh, about to go to jail. He's just now going to court, oh, wow. mm-hmm. which it okay. seems like that was forever ago. Mm-hmm. Um, but it just came out that this nigga did a dry run of his attack the day before. So he did a rehearsal? He did a <laughs> rehearsal, <true> Cam. actor <laughs> form of fashion. Like, <laughs> A <laughs> dress rehearsal. All I see is him with like a script and they all have scripts. So because <laughs> he's going to go here and I'm going to. You lie. Did you right see the call now. sheet that he printed for this? <laughs> <laughs> you have a trailer park? <laughs> with the nearby hospital? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They did a dry run. They had a That's call sheet. Funny. He had it all costumes that day. He was like, I need you to be here at 8 tomorrow. He's like, you said 9. He's like, you know, you got to come and get a wardrobe and get costume ready. And when, all you, that stuff. when you get here, call this number. Yo. Sun sets at 6. <laughs> <laughs> the hospital's right here. Those are all the things the call sheets have on them. Call sheets have like the nearest hospital, what the weather's going to be that day, the sunrise and the sunset. So Lunch break, all Lunch that. Lunch break, all that. <laughs> no points so of contact. Funny. So he, so he literally um, hired two Nigerian brothers, um, and they're now key witnesses. Um, mm. Oh, you know they turned on him. Oh, immediately they absolutely turned on him. Immediately, um, but it says you know, um, I guess, I guess there was text messages sent by uh, Jesse to one of the siblings a few weeks after the attack. It says, "Brother, I love you. I stand with you. I know a, a thousand percent you and your brother did nothing wrong and never would." Um, but, uh, they were like, nah, we had a rehearsal. <laughs> we, had, we, had, we had a, we had, we had a dry run. Um, I'm wondering, like, I kind of want to see how, how mm, that went. Mm, mm. He really didn't think of the consequences of this at this point. He didn't out. think of most, most things. Man, let me tell you something. Let me tell you who is sitting back just thinking like, what the fuck? Fuck. His sister, Journey. Who's Journey his sister? Sm- Journey yeah. Smollett. She was in um, Lovecraft. And oh, she did a few things, yeah. Great debaters. Like, Journey probably like, why, 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 would you, why would you do this the entire time? You yeah. were on your way. You were about to be a great actor, man. And... Sheesh. This is hilarious because there's a there was a video. The jury saw a video of the dry run. <laughs> Yo, who who tape rehearsal? This is <laughs> yeah, supposed why, to be a closed set, goddammit. Why would you <laughs> why would you do that? Ah, he wanted to make sure he got the evasive maneuvering right. He was like, okay, I'm gonna go this way, then this way. He was like, ah, I need to record this. So it says, okay, well, it's surveillance. So it's surveillance foot footage. Uh, it shows Smole walking near the scene uh, with the brothers a day earlier, with the siblings seen uh, taking a cab to a nearby neighborhood. The two then switched to an Uber, met up with Smole. Special um, uh, prosecutor told jurors. Uh, it says, uh, contend to Smole paid the, uh, the siblings $3,500 to help in the alleged hoax. It don't hoax. take much. 35 It don't take much, man. People will... People will really just like they'll just they'll risk it all for well, little to nothing. He probably didn't tell them this was illegal at the time. He was just like, "Here's thirty five hundred dollars. Could you do such and such for me?" I mean, I, 
I mean, you have to no, know he, it's still fraud. He was he was walking around the scene of the crime with them the day earlier, like doing these hands and stuff. Like I need right. you to bop, 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 bop flip this right here, right here, right here. Only, I need you guys to walk this so, way, right, this way, then <clears throat> flip it, and I'm gonna it's, run. It's, it seems like they had all the information, and that's awkward. I wonder. I mean, he's he's obviously in the courtroom too, so he has to watch them, watch him mm-hmm. walking through. The event, which is just, ah, can it? I, I thought that this couldn't get more embarrassing, but it keeps getting more embarrassing. It's definitely gonna get more embarrassing. It's definitely gonna get because he's probably already put in a not guilty plea, and they're about to unveil all this evidence that <laughs> undoubtedly proves that he's guilty, and he's going to be like, <laughs> and that wasn't me, <laughs> my stunt double. <laughs> Him being with the attackers is just like, bro, it's over. <laughs> it, is, it is over. I just... I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't... Goodness gracious, man. People be so close and then just ruin it all. In the full what? I mean, nothing. Nothing. You got nothing out of this. He's going to, nothing. He's probably going to jail. That's the issue. I don't even know what he was trying to... He was trying to say it was a hate crime. Wasn't yeah, he was trying like to a, say a hate crime against a, him. Like a gay bashing crime. Yeah. I, yeah, but what does he get out of that? I think it was to propel him more. I think it was part of his yeah. feeding, like, oh, this happened to me, and now there's a lot of media generated around him, and he can become, like, a person of, like, interest. I, uh, that's More so to help his career. I mean, shaky honestly, beginnings. I don't. It was mm-hmm. like there's, there's easier ways to do that. So, much, I so mean, many easier ways. That's some shaky beginnings to being, what, an activist, I guess? Because if you really want to be an activist that hard, there's actual things you can do that through that aren't right. But it seems like it's like it's harder to like come out of a story, but you don't want to actually go through those things. So yeah, he tried he, to like, just I'd he just tried to control. Get it. hurt, but not. But get there hurt. are cameras everywhere, you guys. They're everywhere. Just, they're just everywhere. You know how impossible it is to like do something illegal nowadays, especially in a major metropolitan city. You got to go to fucking <laughs> but white Kansas. To like really do some shit in the cornfield, but like you trying to do it in a major metropolitan city, that shit, everything's filmed from traffic lights to surveillance from gas stations and convenience stores, ATMs, ATM. Anytime somebody walks past the ATM, it activates the camera. Anytime they don't even have to be walking to the ATM. If it's in a certain vicinity, it starts recording. There's so many things, and then hmm. cars. Cars like they people that are on the road have the co- the cameras in front of them, behind them, and even parked cars like the Tesla. When you walk too close to it, you get in that vicinity, it starts recording for thirty seconds. Huh. It's too many cameras for you to think that you're gonna get away with some stupid shit. I didn't know there was car cameras. Absolutely, all, those, all the sensors, all, all the, the sensors. Yeah, they, the that some of them record like the Tesla, like. My car too. The the the, the truck. It, it is say like when I turn it off. Do you want to keep the uh, uh, motion active? Active cameras, active a while parked or something like that, and so Tesla, like when they broke into our Tesla, um, we got them on camera, but oh, wow. it erases after a certain amount of time if you don't save it. You like you have to go in and physically save it, otherwise it erases the camera like to save space. So we didn't realize we were it was on camera, but we had already driven the car, so it was gone. Oh, you have to do it right there, and if you start driving, it's gone. Yeah, it, it erases. It only keeps it for a certain amount of hours. Unless you specifically go in and like download that footage, that seems the little things you don't know. Yeah, I until mean, you need to know. You're like, yeah. oh man, I, mean, I didn't know it recorded that at been all good a couple like, seconds ago, yeah. so I can't complain already. But <laughs> <laughs> it seems like having saving that footage would be would be better. But okay, yeah, yeah, rain cameras. That's for sure one of them. Um. All right, keeping going with this uh, craziness out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is a woman. Of course there is. Who <laughs> <laughs> there's a woman who um, wanted her ex to text her back. So she literally faked her wedding. She went and got a wedding photographer and took pictures with horses and got a priest and a man and like her next to flowers and like all these things. They're, they're sitting together at a piano and you know, they put like some song like making my way downtown, walking, you know, something like that. And she did, she's going viral because she did all of this just to get her ex to text her back. That is 
so people got money to spend. Let me I was about to say that's so so that's it's like a so little extra. romantic and a really crazy. All because you wanted him to call you back for what? So you could paint this idea that y'all were going to get back together? If you wanted to do that, you could have just went to paint your life. You could have got a picture of you, a picture of him, put it together on one canvas, and now you have the photo, the portrait that you want. Why go through all of that? Listen, paint your life is an amazing service, okay? Take different pictures and get you a portrait of those different pictures put together on one portrait. It is hand done. Okay, it's the perfect gift for the holidays or if you missing the ex or for family members. You could include family members, friends, pets. It doesn't matter. It is the perfect gift. So if you're looking for a special gift for someone this holiday season, something truly unique, something truly personal. All right. Without faking a wedding and hiring photographers and things of that nature. Listen, go to paintyourlife.com and have an original painting by a world class artist done by hand from any photo or photos at an affordable price, okay? I've already told you guys about the photo that I have for me and Farron. Pat got the whole photo of his family now sits in your mom's living room, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this is something that you don't have to worry about someone else having when you walk in their house, all right? This, these are one of ones, okay? These are truly meaningful gifts for the holiday season and something that people can cherish for a lifetime. Um, this is a great gift for remembering loved ones that may have been lost, right? Because you can get a picture of your 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 um your past your grandparents or cousins or like I say even pets and get them in the portrait as well. So this is literally a win-win gift and you are with the artist Every step of the process, you understand me. Every step of the process, they reach in, with, tap in with you, tell you what they're doing. Um, they, they'll send you a, a rough draft of it, and just so you can see how everything's coming along, you get to choose from a team of world class artists, and you work with them until every detail is perfect. Okay, and you get to order a custom made hand painted portrait in less than five minutes. It's quick and easy, and the hand painted portrait comes to you in about three weeks. This is something meaningful. Personal, and like I said, can be cherished forever. It is a perfect holiday gift. So, uh, I've always been pleased with mine. I'm sure Pat is pleased with his as well. Yep. Once you guys try this out and see how amazing it is, right now I want to hook you guys up with uh, house 20% off, huh? 20% oh, off yeah. your painting to get this special offer. Text the word internet to 64. Thousand okay at paintyourlife.com. There's no risk if you don't love the final painting, your money is refunded and that's guaranteed. And right now, like I said, I'm giving the special offer, limited time offer, get 20% off your painting. That's right, 20% off and cherry on top, free shipping. To get the special offer, text the word internet i n t e r n e t to 64,000. Again, that's internet to 64,000 64-000. Text internet to 64,000. Paint your life, celebrate the moments that matter. Most. Woo. Paint it. Good stuff. That was a great, that was a that was a great little trip. Oh. Nice. A little full sideways. <laughs> 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 All right. So also very funny, super casual. She's uh he said she could uh paint a text from her ex. <laughs> that is very true. Um <clears throat> but yes. Uh, so so this girl um, racked up millions of views um, because she basically had a whole wedding photo shoot to get uh, a response from her ex. She has since um, given an update video um, saying that she saw that her ex saw the story and did not reach out. <laughs> ah, you did all of that. Sorry. <laughs> Cuz um, you can Tragic. see the scene. He saw nothing. Listen, Tragedy. bro. Here's the thing cuz he probably knows somebody that she knows and was like, "Yo, did you go to such and such wedding?" She's like, "What wedding?" Yo, she got pictures on her IG and all this what? Bro, she did not fucking I was just with her 2 days ago. She would have told me she was getting married. It's like, "Whoa, did she really just can you imagine the 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 revelation? Like, yo, did she really just fake a wedding? Yo, I'm not calling That's you back. You're crazy. crazy. Yeah, yeah. You're At that point, these are it's the like, signs. Wow. These are the signs of people like, yo, you didn't know that she was crazy. Like, no, I never showed this. This, you know. Yeah, I mean, unless she did something similar, which is why they're exes. Yeah, this is true. Yeah. Because that's that's wild. If if you're not like, if if she's not a 
even if she was a comedian, that'd be kind of weird. Oh yeah, <laughs> even if she did voice. it for a laugh. But um, I mean, he could have just watched the story and been like, hmm. he could have been scrolling, just like flipping through them and be like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> or just the the the, the like, rough was it, one. Was it a direct like message to him, or was she just putting it out there, hoping that he would respond after? No, she just it. put it out there. Yeah. She, I don't think she sent so, like, it. He to could him. have easily just been scrolling through stories. It was on his then... story, or um, which is a weird way to also like. Why would you only have your wedding photos on your on story? your stories? Yeah, unless she double posted. I don't know how far she went, but we do know that. He saw it. I mean, he could have just saw it and been like, oh, she got married. <laughs> like, <laughs> we what happened talking... for them? <laughs> yeah, just like, like. Well, it was in the most inconvenient times. He was getting slow head. He was like, ah, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she got, wow, she got married. That's crazy. <laughs> that's how, I mean, that's how you know you moved on when it's just like, oh, they got married. Or, oh, they had a kid. That's crazy. Yeah. You, there's no, no feeling, no remorse or anything. Good for her. Yeah, I like that. It, it, it shows maturity, too. It's just like, oh, nice. <laughs> oh, man. Poor girl. Poor, poor little girl. Poor little, poor little ting ting. Poor little thing. Poor little thing. Um, also, um, craziness. People are now starting to buy land in the metaverse. Metaverse is obviously the new Facebook. It's like vir- virtual reality. People are getting um, avatars and all that stuff. <clears throat> um, people are now spending millions of dollars buying oh, no. millions, bro. Yes, I mean they're spending that much on fake <laughs> and NFTs and all that bullshit. Yeah, the 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 highest. So this um, is not damn, I just I just talked about this. Um, millions, bro. Yes, it's like the the highest <laughs> one is like I think uh two something like t- between two and That's three crazy. million. And what's crazy is that they're basically just buying land. Um, that's fake, but it's also like when people go into the. This is what I think. Like, th- if you can imagine, like Facebook and 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 MySpace, how that used to be with everybody having a profile. Instead of us just going from profile to profile, it's like a place that you're yeah. in VR and you walk to Tahir's profile, you walk to Cam's profile, and you're. It's kind of just like a social place. So, like you were talking about farming the internet mm-hmm. before. It's not just unlimited like you would think the internet is. So maybe that there are these plots of land, like when we, when everybody starts doing this VR social system, who knows? Maybe we have to buy or or rent out that land, and now you're paying rent on land that don't exist. You know, like that's pretty much yeah. what, like you said, NFTs are already. Yeah, so. it's basically you'd be buying the code technically that tells you that that land exists in this metaverse, I it was. in a place. Because yeah. that's what it's all broken down into code because it's in a digital atmosphere on the internet. Right. But really, that's what you're buying. Is it, You're not really buying anything except for... It's like basically if Sims... It's basically if you went into Sims and had to pay $2 million to buy like your plot of land in Sims and then build your virtual house. So that right, your but with real money. Over. With real money, yes, exactly. Because you can't just do it anywhere. They ha- yeah. It has to be a, at a place. So you're basically... They're basically buying the land that we're going to we're going to be interacting on. Exactly. That's insane. <laughs> I, thought it was, I thought it was mixing it with the AR. Like, because That's, AR yeah, exactly. Because AR mixing it with actual physical locations. So say you're walking through AR, you're going to 7-Eleven down the street, and you want to own this ad or whatever you're putting up right here, you know, that's going on. Like you're kind of oh, interesting. Yeah, you know, you huh. that may be how it is. Because, like, interacting with the AR and the AR. it's the AR... Our reality and the the augmented or virtual reality combined. So when you like put on the glasses in here, you could like I could like buy this room, mm-hmm. and then in the virtual sense, I could put things in this room that aren't actually in the reality. But if anyone else put on like a VR AR headset, they would see all my things because right. it's now my room. That's crazy. So it's 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 not too different than buying a website domain name, Basically, so that you can sen- have yeah, it's, a, it's like space. Yeah, if on you're the buying internet. quote unquote space. But it's just there's no to put virtual there's no things. barriers anymore. It's just yeah. everywhere, which is I don't understand why someone was like two million. Yes, like I mean, and th- unless they just saw how much money that's gonna make. A lot of that I think is uh, clout chasing, and they're like, oh, I spent now I have this that nobody mm-hmm. else has, and I spent two million dollars on yeah. it. Yeah, and now everything's now all the prices go up because this person spent this much on it. So that it blocks out people who are poor from getting into it. In that sense, so now it's like only certain people can play this game because you need a certain amount of money to buy land in this quote-unquote metaverse. I'm good. You don't I'm, want it? No, I'm I'm good. I don't. 
I don't see me being in a VR world that much to where I'm gonna care that much about it. I could be wrong. In two years, I might be like, "Yo, man, I can't wait to get out of here." They might. It, I mean, I can definitely see them getting to a point where you're doing shows mm-hmm. as that. You know, like like now you're filming in there, and it's that makes sense. And then I'll definitely change my tone. Like, you know, I could be that's a virtual an, character. It's an applicable, like, yeah, it's an applicable way to like mm-hmm. realize it. This I don't understand the application of it just yet, right? Because it's super new. The AR is what's interesting, though, because VR is always weird because it's like you, you're just basically taken somewhere else. But AR and having stuff interacting with your real life, like that's that's where I feel like it's going to get kind of muddy Like they did that quickly. Halo thing? What Halo thing? Like it was a, I think it was a college football game, and if you had on the, the glasses, you could they see had an AR argument. Yeah. It was like a helicopter for Halo. And so it like flew on the field and then oh, it came dope. and it dropped some stuff down like that and then it was like a whole promo for for Halo, the new Halo game that's coming out. Yeah, I guess so, right? But yeah, I guess you had to have like certain glasses to see it or yeah, I know Ray Ray-Bon, and Facebook, they, some, they, yeah. they they combined and now mm-hmm. you can have like the augmented reality glasses or whatever. They're 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 for sale now? Yeah. I don't know if they're for sale yeah, yet, Kilo but they're one. advertising. He they sent him he did like activation yeah, that, with they, them. They, okay, they, cool. They're for sale because I saw them yeah. on Instagram. And it was like, I could get them now. So I just oh. was like, I already had the Bose ones mm-hmm. that have, you know, the the speaker and stuff, and I could talk, but they don't have the the cameras on them. Right. But they were supposed to get, like, the adaptation for the AR if I wanted to, but they never updated it, so. I That's crazy. It. We're going to, in a year, people are going to be walking around with glasses, just everybody recording each other. Like, that's... We were just talking about there being too many cameras. Now it's, it's just going to be, be more. Yeah. <laughs> gonna Everyone's going to have them on their eye. Yeah. And Super it, casual boom said four years later, he can see to here getting 7 Eleven NFTs. <laughs> <laughs> I would go to the metaverse just to put up 7 uh, Elevens. <laughs> Absolutely will. <laughs> that's uh, is there is there any like laws against recording people though? Because there has to be like if you're. Bro, they have, I guarantee they have not caught up to this yet. The laws are still catching up to like regular law, like it'll happen when people start suing each other over like damages or something like mm-hmm. that happens. Once that happens, then the laws the laws are kind of like after the fact. Something bad has to happen, and now oh, we got to put a law now so people. That's how it always is. Yeah. That's what everything like even airplanes like oh, yeah. all the things that get changed on airplanes is always after something bad happened. It's like. <laughs> Plane crash and everybody was flying out of the seat. Was like, maybe we should have seat belts. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Or like intersections. If there's an accident intersection, they put a stop sign. If there's another yeah, accident, they put stop yeah. lights. It's it's a contingency based on something that's happened previously. What is the black box? For... It's the recording, right? It's mm-hmm. like an indestructible box that has the oh, last the plane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it it records everything, like all the sound and the flight path and all of that. So they can kind of like track backwards where things started to go wrong. On the, on the plane crash, like if they were taking the right flight, if they actually elevated to a certain pa- uh, level, all of that type of stuff. Oh, so recorded. it's not just literally what what's being recorded, like sound. It's recording it's everything. like yeah, yeah. I think all the data everything. that yeah, the all plane's the taking in and sending out is recorded in that. So if the plane crashes, that that's what F- in September 11th, a lot of the planes that went down, they were able to find out what happened based on the black box information. Mm. Got it. Okay. Okay, uh, you just said a- airplanes. So I just wanted to ask because <laughs> I mean I'm, I'm I'm sure a lot of horrible things had to happen for the black box to need, need to be. Invented. Or like if a plane crashes and then like how how did this crash? Mm-hmm. Now we can figure out what happened on the plane. Right. Okay. Remember that one plane that they were looking for that was like that flew from Malaysia? India, Malaysia. I'm sorry, Malaysia, yeah. Yeah. Malaysia. They still don't yeah. they they found still, it. Nope. They still have not found. That's a crazy That's thing the to lose. Part. It's, it, it really is. Just like that. It's like you didn't lose a plane. You lost a plane full of people. Plane full of <laughs> yeah. that people. was planing. It was like that doing was its thing. It was planing. <laughs> it was like mid plane flying. It. Flying. <laughs> That's the word. <laughs> no, not flying. It was mid plane. Like it was doing its thing. It wasn't just it's a plane. Mid plane. It's not a thing. Yeah, because it was. Mid Literally, flight. it was doing. It had people on it. <laughs> it had. It was like mid doing its job, listen, and it, it just, just lost it. Nothing. Not mid doing its job. <laughs> <laughs> it's right in the middle of clocking in. Hey, listen, fellas, do your job and make sure that your skin is on point. Okay, it's been yeah. it's been far too long. Actually, I'm I'm meaning to talk to Kevin about that. I'm thinking about starting a new show. 
uh, called Step It Up. And it's basically just talking about normal stuff that guys should be doing, like skincare. You should care about your skincare. It's not it's not enough to just drink water. People always think you drink water. No, you need to get Curology, all right? Mm-hmm. Curology makes skincare effortless. They create a custom skincare formula for your skin goals. Plus, they've got a cleanser, a moisturizer that are as easy and soft on your skin and super easy to use. Listen, they also just got the lip balm. Now, I don't know if you go oh, back in. It. They no. got the lip balm, man. Nice. They, they just added that to the whole repertoire, and I've added that as well. That's dope. Uh, everything ships right to your door, and your first 30 days are free. You just cover five bucks for the shipping and handling. Listen, guys, I get it. You think about everything that ladies do to stay beautiful. They got to do the skin mask, and then they got to do the moisturizing mask, and then you got to put the little pads on your eye. You don't have to do all of that, all right? You could not, it could not get any easier with with Curology. I keep my, my face wash in the shower. I wash my face first, and then I wash my body like I typically would. I get out, and if it's in the daytime, I put my moisturizer on for the day. And if it's at night, I literally just put on the night moisturizer. That's it. That's the entire skin regimen, okay? And when you're, you're you're telling them what you want, you just tell them what type of skin you have. You have the oil skin, you have the, the, the dry skin, you got pretty middle ground, okay skin, and then you tell them your goals and what you want to do. It's really that simple, okay? I love Curology because they make it so simple. Um, I have the travel size so I can take it on the road with me. Um, it's always there. And as soon as I started using it, I started getting even more compliments on how clear my skin was and how how you know, brilliant it was and how handsome. I don't even know how that got in there, but they just wouldn't stop <laughs> saying that I was super handsome. Uh, but yeah. it's super easy to use, and I want you guys to try it out. Fellas, listen, I promise you try this out, you're going to see a difference. People are going to notice that you're making an effort. So uh, right now, I want you to get a free 30-day trial. All you have to do is pay for shipping and handling. So go to Curology.com slash D-I-Y-S to unlock your free 30-day trial. Uh, see Curology.com for all the details. But right now, get this, okay? It's absolutely free 30-day trial. That's Curology, C-U-R-O-L-O-G-Y.com slash D-I-Y-S to unlock your free 30-day trial. All you have to do is pay $5 for shipping. And uh, yeah, that's it, man. Start off the year right. Get you do the together. you do the moisturizer cleanser nighttime mm-hmm. trio thing the white one mm-hmm. yeah the, no the three Mm-mm, no I, I just got I got I have three things so I got the soap and I have the daytime moisturizer mm-hmm. and then I have the nighttime moisturizer and okay I use the nighttime moisturizer because nice. my my go, my skin isn't normally super oily or or too dry anyway so mm-hmm. those are the only things that I needed okay yeah I, I'm doing the clean the cleanser the moisturizer and the uh, the nighttime. The nighttime one. I just had to get the bigger bottles too. Mm-hmm. Shout, mm-hmm. Out to, shout out to Curology. I like the little boxes they come into. The little flip ones. <laughs> the little yeah, flip, yeah, yeah. Little flip boxes. Yeah. The little flippers. Makes it easy. <clears throat> All right, moving, moving right along. Um, so <laughs> I want to, I want to, I want to talk about, uh, I want to talk about condom size real quick, mm-hmm. and just the 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 hold that it has over the male brain and how how obsessive over over that we are. Um, it is said that during the Cold War, the CIA uh, considered airdropping extra-large condoms labeled medium uh, over the Soviet Union to demoralize the Soviet male population and make them feel ad- uh, atomically inferior and afraid to fight the U.S., which is a <laughs> wow. That's, that's psychological warfare. That right really is, Cam. That's <laughs> diabolical. This, this, here you go, medium condoms for everybody. They're like, oh this man, y'all, this no, y'all, me, this y'all medium. The, I, the, the person that I'm came up with that idea anymore. Anymore. <laughs> in the boardroom is just like, what if we, uh, what if we talked about the dicks? I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> like what general this, brought this that is, up? This is war, it's man. Like, it's like, so no, no, unprofessional. Hear me out. Hear me out. Like everybody wants to be the big dick, right? Everybody thinks they got the biggest dick. What if we gave them really big condoms, but said they weren't that big? Like, okay, what does that do? But they're gonna feel like assholes, right? Assholes don't want to fight. Assholes want to cry. They want somebody to tell them, hey, no, that's average. <laughs> the big ones hurt too bad anyway. <laughs> What do you mean? That's yeah. That's the thing. No, what I'm saying. Then they'll be baggy too. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. When they put it on. 
Also, who's I mean, who's actually using condoms that fall from the sky? Like, yeah, this yeah, is that safe. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. okay. I need one of these. <laughs> this checks out. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of what was happening in the Cold War? What event was going on where they thought that it's like, yeah, this would be a perfect place to release them? Like <laughs> a football game, a parade. Yeah, there are kids there. That's wait what I'm for it. Wait for it. <laughs> That's yeah, hilarious. I can see the guys in the plane like, ready, ready. <laughs> No, that's, that's so that. wild. And the funniest thing is that it said considered, which means whoever pitched that, they were like, yeah, maybe we'll do that. And then somebody else was just like, or we could pretend to go to the moon. And they were like, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's do that instead. Yeah, that sounds way cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> what do we need? Uh, some pictures, some rocks, get some boots. You got a studio, right? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. got a studio. How hard? Yeah. Would, how hard would it be to make it look like space? <laughs> Just, I, I think we can get away pretty easy. It's mainly black, right? <laughs> no, that's that is that is ridiculous that's to even hilarious. think that somebody would get that on. I mean, I wonder what that would do to, like, like if that actually happened to you. Like, if everything went well and mm -hmm. you picked up the condom and you tried it on. And the woman laughed, and you're just like, "Damn, this was this was this they medium." <laughs> would you feel a little different when it came down to fight? I, that would be an interesting study. Oh, I don't yeah. know how you would do that. But. You, you you're definitely gonna you you're gonna feel something. First of all, I didn't know condoms came size like that, other than like the XL or the Magnums or something like that. Most yeah. condoms I don't are think all the size. Like so maybe slim, back in the day, one size fits all, right? Something yeah. like slim fit or whatever. I've never seen a slim fit condom. Really, I've never seen a slim fit condom. It's I've usually the, the general the, size, the um, thin, thinner condoms. With when they talk about thin, you know what I mean? No, but the, the like thin they is have the like, like bare skin. That's, yeah, that's like just bare the, skin. Yeah, that's just the, the yeah the bare skin and the mm -hmm. thins, the barely there, all of that. That's just the the thickness of the actual condom, not the actual width of it. Yeah. The girth of it is all the same. If there the were sizes, they they stopped that pretty soon. Yeah. I, it's I supposed could to see stretch. That. It's built yeah. to yeah. It's built it's to stretch. Right. But even if they did come out with a small, medium, large, that would have got problems oh, yeah, really, yeah, yeah, really yeah. fast. Can you imagine going up to the to the register with the small? Can like, I get an extra small? You said I mean, what? They all fit. Can yeah. I get an extra small? <laughs> Can I get a three pack of an extra small? That was before Amazon when you had to. Yeah, you had to go oh, up there. straight up buy. Con I remember. I'll never forget the last, the, the first time I bought condoms. The first few times I bought condoms, I faked being on the, the phone because yeah, I was buying? so young, and I thought that they would judge me, which is weird because it's. It's weird know, that we think that. It's weird because my the scenario I put forward was. I'm buying condoms for my friend. Oh man. Which is like in retrospect way weirder. Like, yeah. What do you want? Oh, the purple ones? Yeah, yeah I got you. Like, what was I here? <laughs> <That's looking? odd. laughs> What's what, this kid doing? What was I do? <laughs> so that was that was weird because in my in my mind that was like more appropriate. Cause mm -hmm. it was like, oh, it was, he's he's buying them for his older sexual app active chap who can't um, come and get them himself yeah but send yeah, this kid yeah they, they should have called the police and that's why i was okay right. <laughs> so tell us about this friend he's 60 uh, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> likes to tell me stories about the war while some on his lap are y'all related no 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 <laughs> Oh, it's no. weird, though. His milk always makes me sleepy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I definitely want to throw this in here, though. We have, uh, we have come to the point where we have our world's first living robots, um, and they, they can now reproduce. What? What? Do they, like, build other robots? It's, it's, it's known as Xenobots. And it, I guess, it, it has to do with, 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 with cells and the such. Let's, let's get into this. All right. So, living robots known as uh, xenobots have found a new way to self-replicate. Can we, before we move on, what's a living robot? What can, constitutes that? What constitutes that? All right. Let's ask NPR. Uh, scientists say they've witnessed a never-before-seen type of replication in organic robots created in the lab using frog cells. Among other things, the findings could have implications for regenerative medicine. They try to slip okay. that in there to, to, to ease Ooh. our minds. Like, don't worry. Yeah, it's for medicine. Uh, the discovery includes a xenobot, quote, a simple programmable organism that is created by assembling, uh, uh, assembling stem cells in a Petri dish. 
and is described by a team of researchers um, in a paper uh, published this week uh, as you can think about it like using the different cells as building blocks like you would with a Lego or Minecraft. Um, the researchers hope one day these xenobots described by the same team in a paper published nearly two years ago could be programmed to perform useful functions such as finding cancer cells in the human body or trapping harmful microplastics in the ocean. Uh, the xenobots are made of cells taken from the African clawed farm. Uh, excuse me, the African clawed frog. Um, they're not genetically modified at all, but simply combined in different arrangements to produce xenobots. Um, and uh, you see this, like, uh, this, this picture of it. It's kind of freaky. It's like these little cells. These, mm -hmm. sem these so they're producing cells. cells that they can theoretically pr uh, program to yeah, do things. Yeah, like programmable cells. So kind of like nanobots, yeah. but they're yeah. actually living tissue. It's kind of hmm. creepy. Um, and yeah, it says that they propel themselves using tiny, tiny hair-like structures using, uh, known as cilia. And they have the tendency to spin in a corkscrew fashion. All right, now it's just giving the, the details, details. Too deep, too deep. But um, creepy, right? Very I mean, we, so. we, we, we are, um, we're in the future. But That's we're a, like, not as, not, it's not what we thought it was going to be. <laughs> what was that movie with Vin Diesel that just came out not too long ago? Where they kept reprogramming him to like think a different background. And he had like those nanobites in his hand. Like he would punch a wall or something like that, and they would like kind of disintegrate, but then they would regenerate. On Vin Diesel? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know. Blood in or blood? blood uh, there's something. Bloodshot. I think. Bloodshot. Oh, bloodshot. Okay. Yeah, bloodshot. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's so it's basically that. It really, really is. If you watch that movie, it's it's that. That's, I mean, so, I mean, that is technically robots reproducing, though. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Crazy, crazy, crazy world, right? It is. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Damn, they they had a budget of forty five million and they made thirty seven point three million back Oof, on that movie. That wait, that's but bloodshot. Mm -hmm. That's rough. The budget was what? Forty five million, and they made what back? Thirty seven point three. Oof. Oof. Ooh. That's why we couldn't remember the movie. <laughs> I definitely exactly. watched it on the plane. <laughs> well, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching another episode. Uh, Want to give a shout out to Scary Squad, more mob. Uh, appreciate y'all tapping in. You know, as always. Oh, we didn't even do a song today. We just kind of jumped right into it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't even think we did an intro or anything. We didn't. We apologize, guys. This is this is a very off day for us because we're filming this on a Friday, Thursday, Thursday. Uh, because we got some stuff going on next week. But you know, we love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Hey, I got drugs. Give me a no, no, no. A foggy memory. I got a foggy memory. No, can't go out with that. But well, anyway, I'm to hear more. I got drugs. <laughs> I'm Patrick Cloud. Be we'll careful, see you guys. next week on another episode of Damn Internet. <laughs> you scary. Cam Cam's in the building too, man. Woo! Put him back on the thing. There's Cam, man. All right, guys. Peace. <laughs>